This is a beautiful market. Look at that. Good paintings, attractive colors, spacious and generally a good market. It's not just that. This is another one. Look at the paintings and architecture. Very beautiful. See you here too. Look at this third one. It is unfinished but you can see there is a lot of progress being made here. Okay? Leave alone this one. Look at that dual carriage. Look at that dual carriage, friends. This is the first county I have seen making a dual carriage. The one I showed you in Kakamega was made by the national government. I mean this one. It is in Amalemba in Kakamega. It enhances the beauty of Kakamega town, okay? It was made by the national government. But this, this one here is being constructed by the county government. This is the first one ever I've seen being constructed by the county government. Did you know that all these things have happened within just five years? Five years, okay? At a CO5, five years are not even complete. It's just four years. In four years, tremendous progress has already been made. And did you know that despite all this progress, some residents still feel like they don't want the person who did this within just four years? I mean, mtu ametengeneza market kama hii. Market kama hii, okay? Ametengeneza barabara kama hii. Hii yenye unaona hapa, this is a mega project. I've never seen any other county do this. Anaunda stadium hapa, it is still in progress. Na bado watu hawamtaki. Why, my good people? Welcome to Bungoma County and let's come here for some discussion. Before we proceed as usual, allow me to help some people who've never been to Bungoma to understand Bungoma. Bungoma town and county are located in western Kenya. The predominant tribe in Bungoma is Bukusu, a sub-tribe of Luya. The Bukusus live in Bungoma, okay? The name Bungoma is for people who are not Luyas because it was first named by the colonialists. Sijui sisi wa Afrika tulikuwa mafala aje mpaka tunge name ma places na zikue zishike vizuri but the name Bungoma was named by the British okay sisi wa Luya tunaita Ebungoma 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 comes from the word Ingoma which means drums during those ancient times this place now called Bungoma was a meeting place people used to converge here for various functions okay so people used to beat Drums here walikuwa na piga ingoma and the sound emanating from the uh, drums will alert people from various places and they will come and converge here for important function. That is how it was called Ebungoma, a place of beating drums. But mnajua mzungu hawezi ita Ebungoma. So they named it Bungoma na ikakwama Bungoma. Again, during those ancient times, Nandis and the Sabaot, the Sabaot people of the Bungomet clan, used to live here with the Bukusus. This is a very valid story. Walikuwa hapa mpaka waliwacha hata Max hapa. Sijitengenezee story yangu hapa. Bukusus who lived with the Sabaot and the Nandis were very strong and violent against the Nandis and the Sabaot. So they chased away the Nandis and the Bungomet people of the Sabaot clan and they occupied this place called Bungoma. So the Nandis and the Sabaot left to Kirtale in Transoya and other places and that is why Transoya has no tribe. Iko na Bukusu wa Kalenjin wa Sabaot, okay? So the Bukusus remained in Bungoma. That is why we have names such as Chepukube in Bungoma where the Nandis used to reside. Na hiyo jina Chepukube ilibaki tu Chepukube na iko hapa mpaka wa Luya tunajiulizanga hii Chepukube Okay. Interestingly, Bukusus in Bungoma are the only defiant Luyas. Okay. Waluya wengine wakienda left, wao wanaenda right. Waluya wengine wakienda right, wao wanaenda left. Wabukusu ni vichwa ngumu na wanaweza kupiga hata mangumi vibaya sana. Tena wanapenda kula sana kuliko waluya wengine wote. Mkisikia waluya wanapenda kula by the way jua ni wabukusu. Anyway, let's go to development after having this good history of the Bukusus and the Bungoma and the Sabaot and the Nandis. If you have noticed, it has taken me quite some time before bringing you the Bungoma development documentary. Imekuwa ngumu sana hawa watu wa Bungoma wanabadilisha governor kama suruari. So you can't even tell which governor has made a lot of progress. In fact, they don't know whether to support the incumbent or the former governor. Bungoma has been the most difficult county for me. I have traversed the entire county and I now have enough details on why people don't see development even when developments exist. Bungoma is unique, very unique because the negatives and the positives balance. I will start with the positive things before I go to the negative things for you to understand why some people still don't see developments that are available here. 
one of the developments you meet when you come to Bongoma is the dual carriage that I showed you earlier. Friends, look at that. Look at that dual carriage. Kwenu iko hivo, that is a dual carriage being constructed by the county government. Wale mmekuwa Bungoma mnajua kumekuwa na kabarabara kadogo sana kama ingianga town, okay? But this dual carriage has changed the face of Bungoma town. If you are in Bungoma five years ago, we did not have this road. Within just five years, we have this road. What a wonderful road. It is not any different from the national government road that is in Kakamega. You see this one here? You see this one in Kakamega? Compare with this one in Bungoma. They are not any different. Ya Bungoma inangoja tu mataa na urembo kama ya Kakamega, okay? Bungoma County, this is a job well done. In less than five years, even though it's not complete, this is a very good job. Sasa wale mnasema ati Kakamega usa provincial headquarter. He pesa ya dual carriage Bungoma imetoka wapi? Watu wa Viga, Siaya na Busia muache kuniambia mambo ya mambo ya provincial headquarter. Where did Bungoma get the money? Yours was swindled. Demand for it in Bungoma we have a dual carriage. Again, within just five years, the governor of Bungoma has tried to improve feeder roads in town. Wale mnasikia nikisema five years, huyu governor hakuwa the other time, okay? Watu wa Bungoma walitoa ule wa kwanza, wakaweka huyu wa pili. So, we are looking at this second one because maendeleo yake ni nyingi, enye ukitembea ni nyingi, okay? Look at this road with cabro pavings towards the residential areas, okay? This is just one road towards the estate and it was done within the last five years, okay? Unafikiria ni hii peke yake? Let me take you to another one. Wacha nikupeleke kwa ingine uone. This is the second one. You see that? You see that, my friend? Sio hii peke yake. Let me take you to the uh, third one, okay? Let's go to the third one. This is the third one. It was done within just five years, okay? Sasa wacha ni siendele kupeleka because utaboeka ni nyingi, okay? There are several, okay? Wacha tuachie hapa. Sasa ni kona suwali. Governor wa Bungoma ametoa wapi pesa ya hii kwa miaka tano, okay? Kama wenu wameiba pesa, musianze kusema at Kakamega was a provincial headquarter in Bungoma, developments are visible. And this means, and within just five years, CIA wamekua na governor ten years, Busia wamekua na governor ten years, Kakamega wamekua na governor ten years, and I have compared and I noticed that only Oparanya made good use of resources. These other ones are wengine wachana nao. Now, in Bungoma, within just five years, five, my friend, he pesa, imetoka wapi? And this one was not a provincial headquarter. Okay? Now, some roads leading to villages are also well done. Okay? Hapa si kama nandi penye waka kabarabara kana kuja bado kako town na kana isha. Apana, apana, apana. My friend, in Bungoma, barabara ina stretch kutoka town inaenda. Kuna barabara zimetengenezwa hapa. Okay? An example is this one. Look at that road, my friend. Look at that road with proper drainage. This is the problem I saw in CIA. Drainage was an issue. This is a good job, my friend. This was done within just five years. Now, Pesa imetoka. Wapi? Okay? Wakati mnasema kakamega was a provincial headquarter. Pesa imetoka. Wapi? Wacha sasa ni kupeleke kwa market. Uone, let me take you to the market. My friend, this one, we will start with Bungoma town, okay? This is a market in Bungoma town. It's just being constructed. Remember, haiku constructed during the first five years of the first governor, okay? It has been constructed within four years who you govern our pili akiwa kwa kiti, okay? Look at that market. It is not complete, but this is a job well done. Sio ya gorofa kama hii ya kakamega, okay? Hii ya kakamega ni ya gorofa. But nita kupeleka kuingine kuonyesha vitu za bungoma. So relax, relax, okay? Hii ya kakamega ni ya gorofa. But this one imejengwa chini in a very spacious place and it's very organized. Look at that, my friend. Look at this market. Let me take you on a small tour in just this place so that you get to understand. Look at those partitions. Very nice. Very nice. And this market also has several stalls. Look at those stalls. Look at those beautiful stalls. Ona hizo stalls, my friend. Sasa, hii ndiyo mambu nilipata nandi. Look at this. Market imejengwa ndiyo, lakini angalia ndani vile watu wanauza. Ona, hii ni nandi county. Okay? But this is in Bungoma County. So, hakuna kujenga mbao na kueka ndani ya market. Mm -mm, watu watakuja ufanyi biyashara zao vizuri. Remember, this was done in the last five years. 
So we can't blame the governor who has just been in office in less than five years for an, an uncompleted market. Huyu amefanya waendeleo sana. Sasa watu wa Siaya, Vihiga, Busia na Nandi. Pesa ya market zenu ilienda wapi? Okay? For example, this is the best we have in Kapsabet. This is the best we have in Busia. And this is the best we have in Siaya. Na vihiga hakuna kitu, vihiga hakuna kitu wachana na vihiga, okay? Hiyo hata market ya kunusa ma, na mapua, vihiga hakuna, okay? And friends, this is the best we have in Bungoma. You see you now see why saying that Kakamega was a provincial headquarter is just uselessness. Bungoma wametoa pesa wapi? Kama gavana wako amekula pesa, demand for it, okay? I was not even able to finish what the governor has done within just five years. For instance, within just five years, the governor is putting up a pediatric hospital. Let me take you to the pediatric hospital. That is the signpost of the pediatric hospital. And that is the pediatric hospital. I could not enter inside, but that is such an awesome hospital. Again, again. In less than five years, the governor is renovating the stadium. Just less than five years, okay? I was here and tractors are working. Everything is just in progress, okay? I can't finish all the projects in town. Swali ni moja. Governor wa Bungoma, ametoa pesa wapi? Yenye haiko siaya, haiko vihiga, haiko busia, na haiko nandi. Na swali lingine lenye nekonalo ni hili. How come the first governor did not achieve this within his first five years, but this second one has achieved all the things I've shown you within just four years. Remember, we are not doing politics here. We are not doing politics. We are doing an objective analysis and pointing out the developments that have already been done. For instance, after interviewing several people, I realized that the former governor did one major project, one major project in Bungoma, and he named the project after himself. And it is called Losaka Road. Okay? Hiyo ndiyo watu wanajua, watu wengi sana wanajua hapa. That is based on the interviews that I've done. And residents can confirm here in the comments that that is the major project the governor did. But this one, ona hiyo mambo yote, nye nimekuonyesha dual carriage, nimekupeleka kwa markets, nimekupeleka kwa feeder roads. Kwanza sija ungelea scholarships, nitakuja baadaye. Okay? This governor has done these developments. And in just five years, my friends, this is an oparanya in Bongoma. But now listen to me. In rural areas, some people don't want this governor. They want the previous governor because they can't see what this governor has done. And this is where now the problem is in Bungoma. And this is why it was very difficult for me to do this documentary. Nandiyo maana mpaka na mention majina. Mutani allow ni mention tu majina ya hawa governors because Bungoma yuekua ngumu. Bungoma wabukusu ni vichuwa ngumu my friend. By the way... Rural areas in Bungoma do not have tarmac roads like Kakamega. In Kakamega, oparanya aliingiza lami huko ndani. Watu wanaimba tu oparanya kwa sababu ya lami zenye ziko huko ndani, okay? In Bungoma, hakuna lami. Hakuna tuambiane ukweli. In rural areas, hakuna lami, okay? For instance, ukikuja na hii barabara yenye governor alitengeneza, ni refu, inatoka town, hii ni ndefu sana, okay? Unakuja nayo alafu inaishia hapa, okay? Ikiisha imeisha, imeisha. Sasa wewe na rough road ni same WhatsApp group mpaka kwenu kwa mlango. So, most rural people don't feel like the governor has done much development. Na amekuwa tu kwa kiti within four years. People are judging this governor in four years na hawajakuja town kuangalia. By this, I don't mean that the current governor has no support. He enjoys massive support, especially in town where he has done massive development. So, most rural people still feel like Lusaka should return because he used to go there. Miss Joel kwa naopea nini? I've not investigated what Lusaka did in rural areas, but one thing from the interviews I've done, alikuwa naenda na alikuwa napeana handout vizuri. So, people love him because of that. He was too close to the people. But this governor never goes to the rural areas quite often. He never gives handouts quite often, but I'm a concentrate town kufanya maendeleo town. So, town residents feel like Wangamati should remain and rural residents, some many rural residents feel like the Lusaka should uh, go back to office, okay? Sasa mnaelewa ni nini naendelea Bungoma. Let us go into more details so that uelewe Bungoma kuna kana mna gani. Let, let us go into more details. We are focusing on development, not politics, okay? We are on development. So, weka kichwa chako kwa development, siyo kwa siyasa. This is a beautiful and massive project in Bungoma County, Okay? This is a massive project 
and it costs over 1.4 billion don't worry where i got the figures don't worry where i got the figures this one i'm sure it costs over 1.4 billion i'm sure so i'm saying over so i'm not i'm not sure about the exact figures but i'm sure it will cost over 1.4 billion the road has changed the face of Bungoma town. Look at that and Bungoma is now looking very good. In just less than four years, this governor has done this and the road is still under progress. Ona hapo bado barabara inaendelea. Huku nyuma, huku wacha ni kupeleke nyuma. Hapa nyuma, barabara bado unaona, hapa, hapa ni kama imeisha. So kuna baki tuna vitu kidogo kidogo, mapambo kidogo imalizwe. But this place, this place hii inaelekea kandui, it is still unfinished. Okay? So this road is just about 6 kilometers. Just 6 kilometers and it costs over 1.4 billion. Now, did you know that you can build three roads, each of them 20 kilometers in rural areas instead of this one dual carriage in town that has cost over 1.5 billion? So the amount being used to put up this road could have been used to put up tarmac roads in rural areas where people reside okay so we still have rough roads in rural areas but we have a mega project a dual carriage in town sasa mnaelewa shida yenye kubungoma okay so the amount that was used to put up this road that is being used to put up this road could have been used to set up tarmac roads in rural town but in my opinion, this is a project of Bungoma. Naikiisha ni project ya watu wa Bungoma. So, I don't understand. But leaders who wanya wanapinga governor, they have been taking him to court to stop this project and focus on rural areas. Lagini Bungoma kalikuwa kanakaa vibaya. Na governor kaona weke hii. Ata mimi ngekua kwa dileme. Remember, this road is not even complete. It still needs money. This is a massive project. So, rural people may not get development anytime soon. I hope you now understand why Bungoma people are torn in between. But despite complaining, despite complaining that the governor has wasted a lot of money on this dual carriage at the expense of rural development, governor huko ndani pia amefanya mambo kubwa. Now remember this is just 5 years. 5. We will see governor wa 10 years. This is a governor of 5 years. For me to prove it to you, I will take you to a different town in Bungoma County. Na wacha ni kupeleke wapi? Kimilili. Okay? For those who have never been to Kimilili, it is different from Kiminini. Kimilili is in Bungoma County and Kiminini is in Transoya County. So we are going to Kimilili and not Kiminini. Friends, welcome to Kimilili. Welcome to Kimilili in Bungoma County. Let's, let's start from here. What has happened within the last five years? The governor has done the same thing like he did in Bungoma. He has done massive developments in town and tried to ignore rural areas. But I don't blame him because he has been in office after five years as Jaisha. Let me give you an example. This is one of the roads on the outskirts of Kimilili town. A very good road. A very good road, my friend. Remember, this was done in the last five years. You need to stack him saw. And he did several others. I will not take you to other roads to avoid wasting a lot of time because project Zaki Hapa Town ni nyingi, okay? Again, the governor oversaw the completion of one of the most beautiful markets I have ever seen. Okay, friends? Look at that. Look at that market. It is in Kimilili Town. This is Kimilili Market that has been constructed in the last five years. Look at that market. Look at that market. Let me just let you have a view. Look at that view. Sasa watu wa Siaya, Vihiga, Busia na Nandi. Governor wa Bungoma ametoa pesa wapi kwa miaka nne kujenga market kama hii. Na msiniambie vitu za World Bank. Kuna watu wananiambia tu, oh sijui ni pesa ya World Bank. Si wenu pia aende World Bank aombe pesa kuja aweke. Okay? Hamu kuchagua ngombe, mlichagua watu. Let them make strategies, go to World Bank and get money. And I'm sure they got money. Where is the money? What did they do with the money? Ukipata hakuna development town, tena hakuna development rural areas. Wanga Mati within just four, five years has done this. Okay? Governor toangi pesa kuwake kwa jikoni. So don't say mambo ya World Bank, oh this is taxpayers money. Of course the governor should use taxpayers money. The governor should use money from the World Bank. Governor aendi kuwake kwa shamba. Kulima pesa ndi akuja wafanyia maendeleo. So this is what the governor has done. Look at that. Look at I can't even compare it to any other market because my friend, this is the most beautiful market I have seen in my life. Look at those partitions. 
look at those partition mpaka ziko na milango look at the my friend and this section is just for stalls this section here he ni supu imeshinda hata mpaka za kakamega za huko ndani okay for the first time nimepata mtu mwenye amepiga opara nya kiboko wow look at that let me take you inside for to some rooms so that you understand what i mean and why i feel that this is very beautiful tunaenda hivi tunaenda hivi alafu tunaingia hapo ndani ona hapo ndani yes this one now look at that room my dear friend we even have a sink and a tap here okay i believe this will be a restaurant that will feed people of the market okay overall this is the best thing i have seen in bungoma na sio hii pekee to hii barabara imetengenezwa na governor so hii ndio unapitia alafu unakuja kwa hii market okay this road was made by the governor na sio hii pekee yake waacha tupitie hapa tena tuende kwa market ingine tena yenye amerenovate ndio hiyo my friend what a beautiful renovation look at the color choice and the architecture So hiyo hii itakuwa soko ya Monday. Remember this will be the market for on Monday na ile ingine itakuwa Thursday. So on Monday people will be here, here, okay? And on Thursdays people will be there. Remember all this has happened within just less than five years market mbili hapa, okay? Watu wa Busia, watu wa Vihiga, watu wa Nandi, watu wa Siaya, pesa yenu ya kujenga market ilienda wapi? So some of you may ask me a question. And what did the former governor do? You are focusing so much on the current governor. What the former governor did is what I told you he did in town, okay? Here, the remember this information I'm getting it from the residents. This is not my information. So I'm getting all this information from people who have lived here for a long time na wamejua maneno yenye mafanyika hapa yote. So in Kimilili the former governor made a road and he named the road after himself. And this is the road. This is Lusaka road, okay? This is the road he made and he named it after himself. Of course there is another road that he made. This one na kalami hapo ndio wako kanaishaisha. So I wonder what uh, he did because uh, barabara zinyopara nyalitengeneza kitambo bado ni nzuri, but this one aka kanachaka. So he made one road here and he named it after himself. So what has happened under Wangamati in just five, four years? is a lot more compared to what the first governor did here okay these are not politics we are looking at development and we are doing an objective analysis i will not go into much because we have other development in chuele and other areas including what i did, other things that i did not mention here for example in just less than five years this governor has already provided scholarships na hiyo ndio reason why watu wa rural area wanasema wanataka kupigia governor okay that's why many rural people still feel this governor can do development and still promote education okay now sasa hii ndio inachanganya ukikuja bungoma many people who told me to visit bungoma they did so because they felt the governor was not performing i came here ready to launch an attack on the bungoma governor honorable wangamati when i reached in bungoma i had to shut my mouth i had to shut my mouth when you see this kind of a road this road here okay and you see these feeder roads these feeder roads that you see here and you see this kind of market yani hii ni moja alafu uone market kama hii ya pili alafu uone market kama hii ya tatu then you move to different towns and still see a road like this one okay and renovations like this ones sasa unashambulia governor namna gani I have not even done many comparisons in this video because maendeleo ya miaka 4 Bungoma ni nyingi hata siwezi maliza. The only reason I see people criticizing the governor is that amesahau watu wa mashinani. But sasa amefanya maajabu town. Why can't you go slow on him na ni miaka 4? He has achieved all this in 4 years. What Busia and Siaya could not achieve in 10 years has been achieved in Bungoma in 4 years. In four years your governor has achieved what other governors have not achieved in 10 years. And trust me rural areas, you may not experience more development soon because this road here has to be completed. Regardless of the governor that you elect, this massive project has to be completed. And that is why when I went to the rural area, some of the developments that have been done in terms of road network is to put marams on the road to ensure that uh, matope si nyingi sana okay kwa sababu hii project itachukua muda kidogo this is a very expensive project and you should appreciate it 
But sasa mkisema governor ajafanya maendeleo huko ndani. Si mko na scholarships. Hii ndio kitu inanichanganya na Bungoma. Sielewi vizuri kabisa. And now here is another shocker of the month. I can call it another shocker of the year. Do you know why people are against the current governor even though he has done more development than the previous governor? It is because he is against the kingpin of the area. And the, ki- the kingpin of this area is Weta. Okay? This information comes from the residents. And I had I have to include this because we are discussing development and a person who has done development and many people still feel like anafaa toke kwa kiti. So why do they want him to be out of the office because he differed with the kingpin? And not because he has done development. So some people are not looking at the developments that this man has done. This man has achieved a lot in 4 years. Given 10 years, this man can do wonders. But why do they want him out of office? One, he is not giving handouts. The I hear that the previous governor used to go to villages and give handouts. That's what I had. That's what I had from the residents. This is not my information, okay? Na hiyo na interview several residents. So msemi niliuliza mtu mmoja. I walk around and I ask several people. So Lusaka was too close to the people. Lusaka used to people used to feel Lusaka, okay? Now, people in rural areas are not feeling Wangamati because he is not going there to give a lot of handouts and this and that but he is focused on developing the town that is why they still don't want him so when he was developing this town the kingpin of the area who is Weta tried to oppose this project for example wamepinga hii barabara kwa sababu itakula pesa nyingi okay and many people in rural areas support Weta Okay so they feel like Weta is a kingpin and Weta does not want Wangamati so they are against Wangamati because Weta said and that is the thing that I saw in, in Siaya because in Siaya when Raila says it is over okay when Raila says in Siaya it is over so in Bungoma it's like when Weta says it is over and my friend that is how politics ruin development these are my final remarks Wangamati is an oparanya. Wangamati is a performer. This does not mean that Lusaka is bad because kama angekuwa mbaya hangekuwa anapendwa na watu hivyo. If Wangamati is voted out, Lusaka has a huge task which is to finish this road at the expense of rural development. So you Bungoma people will not experience massive developments in rural areas soon regardless of the governor you have. What Wangamati has achieved in just five years has not been achieved by other governors in 10 years. So Wangamati this is a job well done. Lusaka I am yet to understand why people love you so much. I'm yet to understand because the only developments that I saw that you did is Lusaka road hapa and then some other few things. But when I compare with what Wangamati has done, Wangamati has done a lot. So I will research on what Lusaka did later that makes people love him so much. I had to mention both Lusaka and Wangamati because their names are tied to development and politics of Bungoma and you cannot talk about the politics of Bungoma without talking about Weta. So in Bungoma politics are tied to Wangamati and uh, Lusaka and Wetangula. So according to me may the best candidate win. But in my opinion, you lose Wangamati, you lose development. Thank you for watching this and let's meet in another objective analysis in Transoya County only at Legrand Media.